so this is the first video in my testing series again. I did a week of testing videos a few weeks ago and it went down so well and I got so many comments on the last video of people being like, I don't want this series to stop. So I thought, why not carry it on? So I'm going to be doing another full week of testing products, different weird products, brands, makeup, skincare, lots of things. The videos will be up at 4.30 p.m. every weekday and 12 p.m. <laughs> and 12 p.m. on a weekend. So definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed already if you want to watch them and yeah hopefully you'll stick around. <laughs> but today we're going to be testing Topshop makeup and I'm going to jump straight into it and start off with this foundation. It's called the Air Cushion Skin Perfector and it comes with a little pad like this. Then you open it up and it's got the cushion here. Now mine is in the shade 2 and I feel like it might be the wrong shade but mm, let's try it. <laughs> I'm going to use it with the little sponge thing. It's not actually going to be that bad. This is, I would say, light to medium coverage. It's nothing heavy at all. Oh my god, guys, I hate this foundation. I'm hoping you can see this, but can you see around my nose how patchy it's gone, like here? I tried rubbing it in and I can't do anything to stop that. It just looks really cakey on my face even though it's barely given any coverage at all. Oh my god, that is terrible. Oh, it feels really sticky and horrid. Look at that. Oh. I've tried foundations like this before that go all cakey on me and no products go nicely on top of them so I'm gonna have to take this off. I would like to leave it on but literally it will ruin the rest of my makeup, I know it will. So I'm gonna take this off, I'm gonna put another cushion foundation on. I'll use the YSL one and then I'll come back because this just it's a no from me. Okay so I've got all of my base makeup on now and I'm gonna carry on with the Topshop. This is their bronzer in the shade Salute and I love the packaging. It's matte black with like shiny lines on. Looks so cool. Let's bronze this face up. highlighter this is the Topshop highlighter in the shade polish I tried this the other day and it's incredible just you watch just you watch but actually I tried it when I didn't have fake tan on so let's see how popping it is now I've got tan on this just blends so nicely love this highlighter it's honestly one of my favorite highlighters ever it blends like an absolute dream like i had powder on underneath this and it just blended so nicely even though it's a cream on to eyeshadow i've got something crazy this is the shuffle the cards eyeshadow i think and it looks so cool so i'm just gonna pop this on and see what it looks like on oh my god it's crazy <gasps> What? Can you guys see this on camera? I hope you can, it's shining like mustard and peach. Looks so cool. Wow. That's literally all I'm doing for eyes because I've got an eyeliner. It's this gel eyeliner and I really want to test it out. I've never tried a gel eyeliner so I'm hoping that this goes well. So that went on really easily. I feel like I've put way too much on though. I got so carried away. But I'm gonna move on to lashes now. And I've got these ones from Isla, which I got from Topshop. And they're the Definition 121. And they've got like really dark outer corners, but they've also got a dark band. And I normally work with clear band eyelashes. So I'm a bit nervous for these. Let's try them anyway. Oh my God, they match my nails. Hi, <laughs> woo. I'm not really 
really sure how much this makeup suits me, but I do like the lashes. So now onto lipstick. I purposely painted my nails this colour because I thought it would match this lipstick. This is a colour from Topshop as well. I think it's called Voltage. But this is the lipstick in Shazam. Ooh, it's a little bit more red than my nails. I would have loved something like this colour. Let's go ahead and try it out though. I'm gonna line my lips first. finished makeup look. I'm not too sure how I feel about it to be honest. I think I went overboard on the eyeliner and that's why I'm not digging this eye makeup but I really like the bronzer and the highlighter. This lipstick has got a lovely formula. It's super hydrating and the eyeshadow was so pigmented I really want more of them because I think in summer and like festival and gay pride and stuff they would look so cool as a highlighter. It would just look amazing. Let me know what you think of this look in the comments below and if you've tried Topshop makeup let me know what your favorite products are give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you're excited for the next six days of me testing out products don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see those videos and I'll see you tomorrow bye